Hello, my name is Kevin Lin, and I'm the Executive Director of Progressives for Immigration Reform, and I'm also the founder of U.S. Tech Workers. Today, U.S. Congressmen and Senators are being duped. Yes, that's right. You see, they think they're receiving calls from constituents and potential voters, when in fact, the same group of about a dozen foreigners are providing false addresses and calling every congressional and senatorial office. Now, I don't know about you, but this sounds a little bit like fraud to me. So, here is Dudski to explain in much greater detail how this is happening. Hi, this is Steve Bushore. Friends and associates know me as Dudski. I've been in this business for many years and now retired. And I'm here to tell you a story about how Immigration Voice has perpetuated a fraud on Congress. American constituents and advocacy groups often have a difficult time getting their senators or representatives to hear their plight. Immigration Voice, a 501c4 lobbying group representing the interests of Indian workers, likes its members to speak out to the United States Congress on immigration issues. But it appears their actions have crossed legal lines in order to gain a congressional audience. House Bill H.R. 1044 and its Senate Companion Bill S-386, entitled the Fairness for High-Skilled Immigrants Act, has been reintroduced in this congressional session. This bill would completely eliminate the 7% country numerical limit, or commonly called country caps, for all employment-based green cards and raise the limit for family-based green cards from 7% to 15%. Experts agree the effects if this bill passes would not be fair to citizens from other countries who would be forced to get in line behind India's overflowing masses that are overwhelming the system. The Congressional Research Service has reported that Indian and to a lesser extent Chinese nationals would dominate the flow of new employment-based legal permanent residents, or better known as green card holders, for years to come, to the exclusion of citizens from all other countries. While I'm sure there are legitimate candidates in India's green card queue, the overwhelming majority are the low-wage workers who have displaced American workers at places like Disney, Southern California Edison, New York Life, and too many others to name. Those folks should not be rewarded for simply being cheap. Immigration Voice has mobilized its members' masses to push Congress to change our country's law to remove the 7% limit. U.S. tech workers have screenshots from Immigration Voice Advocacy Telegram Forum, which contains evidence of the group's stealth tactics. These screenshots illustrate the tracking system that Immigration Voice uses to track its members' calls to Congress. Screenshots from the forum reveal that members are encouraged to misrepresent themselves as residents of several different congressional districts for the sole purpose of gaining access to the respective member of Congress in order to influence their position on pending legislation. This behavior of temporary guest workers and their family must be illegal, right? Does the word fraud come to mind? Fraud is generally defined in the law as an intentional misrepresentation of material. Existing fact made by one person to another with the knowledge of its falsity and for the purpose of inducing the other person to act and upon which the other person relies with resulting injury or damage. In these cases, members of Immigration Voice are intentionally misrepresenting to Congress that they are from their respective congressional district. 
It is a material fact, as evidenced by the screening question, indicating Congress handles calls from legitimate constituents differently than those from non-constituents. The callers know the statements are false and are misrepresenting themselves as constituents in order to induce the staffer to rely on the statement. The callers do this to gain priority treatment by Congress and being able to directly convey their message to a person and having their position on the legislation tallied by the staffer. Congressional staffers rely on the information with resulting injury because they spend time and taxpayer-funded resources talking to fake constituents and then falsely believe there is more constituent attention on one side of the issue than actually is. Further damage is done when, because of the fraudulent misrepresentations, a congressperson forms the mistaken belief that they are acting on behalf of their constituents and takes a position on legislation before them. Does that sound like fraud? Apathy groups for American workers have been barred from speaking with Congress members if they can't produce a constituent within the congressional district. But these foreign nationals aren't afraid to lie to congressional staffers, saying they live within the con respective congressional districts when they don't, just to gain priority treatment over all legitimate American constituents. Does that sound fair? Is this willingness to break the law to get attention from Congress the standard we want to reward? As a matter of principle, do we want to give devious and immoral foreign actors access to the U.S. Congress? I am an American citizen seeking to expose the truth. It is up to Congress and the Department of Homeland Security and other enforcement agencies to see this fraud, dig further, and punish this illegal behavior to the fullest extent of the law. Above all, we can hope Congress won't reward them by giving them what they want by passing this harmful legislation. Please call your Congress members and tell them not to reward unscrupulous behavior.